It's a romance straight out of a telenovela. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 best Jane and Raphael moments on Jane the Virgin. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the most tear-jerking and adorable moments from this romantic dramedy that will make you believe in love. We'll be talking about major plot points, so this is your spoiler alert. Number 10. How they meet Let's start this list with how Raphael's relationship began. When Jane was accidentally inseminated with Raphael's child and their lives became permanently intertwined. The reason the test came back positive is I accidentally inseminated you two weeks ago. You what? We'd say this was the most unique meet cute in television history, except that they had met before. I'm the father. What? It's the baby that you're carrying. Before the whole baby thing, they met at the Golden Harbor Yacht Club while Jane was working. And you made me a killer grilled cheese sandwich. One third white cheddar, one third yellow cheddar, one third grated American. Even though it was closed, she made him her signature grilled cheese sandwich. They talked for hours and even kissed. But the jerk never called her back. Things could have been so different. But all's well that ends well. Number nine, they finally do it. You're the only thing I'm really sure about. Usually this would be a weird thing to celebrate, but this is Jane the Virgin. It's in the title. Jane doesn't have sex with just anyone, so it's pretty special when she does. Jane and Raphael have been waiting a really long time. We've been waiting four seasons, and they even had a child together, so it was about time. Unfortunately, Jane busted into their apartment and announced her desire while the cable was being installed. Can we have sex already? I'm ready right now. Let's do it. Sure. Uh, right after the cable is installed. A little awkward, but when things move to the shower, they have one of the steamiest moments in the entire show. Cable guy's gone. <laughs> Number eight, family dance. Daddy! Family dance! Family dance! Rogelio and Xiomara have just gotten married, so love is in the air at the reception. So once Mateo demands a family dance, the trio sways together. It's a sweet family moment, but Mateo quickly gets bored, as kids do, so he runs off to play. He leaves Jane and Raphael to have an intimate moment of their own. Raph had just broken up with Petra, so he asks Jane if she has feelings for him. Petra freaked out because she thinks that you still have feelings for me. And that if I knew that, I'd choose you. Jane calls him crazy. Well, that's crazy. That's what I said. But she rests her head on his chest with her traitorous heart all aglow. There's just something magical about weddings. Number seven, he supports her writing. Rav, thank you. I know it's not dinner for two, but the way you support my writing is really romantic. From the moment they met, Raphael has pushed Jane to be brave, and that means pursuing a writing career instead of teaching. Well, it depends. Am I being practical or brave? Practical. I'm a teacher. Brave. I'm a writer. <laughs> I have never said that about before. Jane definitely has a passion for writing, but sometimes her confidence wavers. And this is when Raphael steps in to remind her how awesome she is. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a writer. That is just your doubts and your fears talking. You have to keep writing. You are a writer. He was especially important after Michael died, and Jane was struggling to write. When Jane officially publishes her first book, she includes a special acknowledgement and credits Raphael as the first person to believe in her as a writer. It makes Raph cry, even if he denies it. It makes us cry. It makes everyone cry. Are you gonna cry? What? No. Sweat. Bartenders don't cry. <laughs> Number six, their first official kiss. I saw you come out here. You look kind of upset. Technically, they kissed once before in the Golden Harbor Yacht Club, but it didn't turn into anything. We're talking about the kiss that completely transformed their relationship. Jane had just broken up with Michael, and Raphael finds her sitting alone under a blooming tree. As soon as I broke up with Michael leaves her lips, Raphael can't contain himself and the emotional floodgates open. He stands her up and kisses her, with flower petals raining down on them and their hearts glowing. 
She even does the single leg pop thing when Raphael picks her up. Oh, will you let me find? Number 5, The Proposal Part 2. As she sat in the crowd of the reading, Jane felt that she was on the cusp of something. Something that could change her life. It may have taken a few tries, but Raphael eventually gets the proposal thing right. Suddenly, Jane saw him approaching her one true love. The first proposal was incredibly thoughtful. Raph brought Jane to her favorite author's book reading and got down on one knee in front of everyone. Jane? Will you marry me? The only problem was that it was pretty early into the relationship, so Jane turned him down. The second proposal was just as thoughtful, and Raphael made sure to include the Villanueva family. He rigged a game of Loteria so that the answer to his riddle would be a ring, which prompts him to take out an engagement ring. Go sin fin que evas en la mano. A ring! Oh, I don't have it. Mm. Me neither. It's clever, emotional, a happy family moment, and Jane says yes. Jane. Will you marry me? Yes! <laughs> Number four, getting back together again. Maybe it was what you said. Not denying it doesn't change it. It wouldn't be a very interesting drama if all the main characters were together and happy all the time, but all these breakups really mess with our emotions. Jane and Raphael have gotten together, broken up, gotten together again, and broken up. Enough is enough. They've dealt with exes, murderers, and husbands coming back from the dead, and they're finally back together. Because I realized that there was one deal breaker with Julie that I couldn't get past. It's... It's love. It's been a roller coaster of emotions, and totally worth the wait. They meet where they had their first kiss, and Raphael gives a tearjerker of a speech after which they kiss. A leg-popping, heart-glowing kiss. It's about time. Number 3, when he didn't stop her from marrying Michael. Sometimes loving someone can be painful, especially when it means letting them go. And in this moment, friends, Raphael was sure, absolutely sure, that Jane was about to marry the wrong man. And he was also sure that it was now or never. When Raphael saw Jane right before she married Michael, he had a lot of feelings. He loved her, he wanted to be with her, and he didn't want her to marry Michael. He did love her, and he saw she was happy. So how could he ruin that? Which is why he said nothing. He loved her so much that he kept all of this to himself when he saw how happy she was. Good luck. <sighs> you look beautiful. That's true love, and Jane does the same thing when she convinces Raphael and Petra to give each other another chance. Go see Petra. What? Why? If you want to be with her, go. Now. Jane and Raphael tried with other people, but in the end, they are meant for each other. Number two, the birth of Matteo. There have been a lot of transformative moments in Jane and Raphael's relationship, and this is definitely the biggest. It's okay. I can do this. Uh, you know, I'll call Michael. He can meet the plane, give them a police escort back. Even though things are complicated and they aren't together, the birth of their son officially makes them family. You're doing good. Let me let you. Okay, deep breaths. After a long labor, Jane is surrounded by Alba, Xiomara, and Raphael when little Matteo is born. A boy? In serio? We don't know anything about boys. I'm here and I'm happy to answer any questions. It's a precious and emotional moment, and everything in Jane's world finally feels right. Raphael even admits that he never stopped loving her. Even though Matteo's conception was unconventional, he's the glue that holds everyone together. I meant what I said, Jane. I never stopped loving you. This is what I want. Our family. Before we reveal our favorite Jane and Raphael moment, here are a few adorable honorable mentions. Bat. Yeah, uh, T sounds like T. Uh, mommy, mm. what rhymes with bat? Bat, cat, sat. Okay, your turn. Oh, you guys, this is so incredibly cheesy. See, I told you she'd say that. It's not cheesy, it's sweet. Mm. I warned him. That's just a start. Then I would think. Okay, kiss me now. 
Okay, Gale Force wins. We can adjust. Okay, we'll go to plan B. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey. The wedding is gonna be beautiful. Even in Gale Force wins. God, I missed you. Me too. So much. I love you. I love you. Number one, their musical moment. There's one thing that we all know. Everything needs love to grow. We may have said finally a few times while talking about these two, but here it comes again. Jane and Raphael finally get back together, and it's a magical moment. I've always known that we were meant to be. You're my sun and moon, my sky and my sea. Sometimes a moment is so magical that the only way you can properly express it is to break out into song and dance. Who doesn't love a musical with all your favorite characters singing about Raphael? Especially Rogelio's solo where he tries to steal the spotlight. Enough of these characters, they're all on the side. Jane and Ralph, they're back together. I'm smiling oh so wide. Everyone is so happy, it positively makes our heart glow. And this scene really makes us want to see Jane the Virgin on Broadway someday. It's love, 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 the world is love, love, love. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.